airline employees forced an Agora Hills mother to dump her breast milk before allowing her to catch her flight. The frustrated mother is hoping to spread the word to other mothers so it won't happen to them. CBS 2's Amy Johnson has her story. It was extremely emotional. Lee Honeycutt, an executive with a biotech company, was on her first work trip since returning from maternity leave when she was told she would have to dump 50 ounces of breast milk before boarding her Singapore Airlines flight back to Los Angeles Thursday morning. I made the attendant aware that I had breast milk that I would be traveling with. They escalated the situation, and I know that they did some work to try and understand what the policy was. And they came back and told me that uh, unfortunately I wouldn't be able to bring the breast milk on board uh, because I didn't have my infant with me. She says she checked the milk in her luggage and was able to retrieve it during a layover, but realized then the ice she packed it in was melted. So I asked again if I could and, and tried to describe that the policy in the U.S. does allow you to transport breast milk, uh, but they told me again that it wasn't possible because I wasn't traveling with my infant, and that's the point actually where I had to uh, discard all of it. Frustrated, she checked the rules when she arrived home, and we also found on the TSA website that formula, breast milk, juice in quantities greater than 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters are allowed in carry-on baggage and do not need to fit within a quart size bag. It goes on to say you do not need to travel with your child to bring breast milk. Honeycutt says she immediately filed a complaint with the airline and she says they've already reached out to her. They were apologetic, sympathetic and understanding that uh, that shouldn't have happened. They sent us this statement that reads in part SIA policy does not prohibit the carriage of breast milk on our flights, and we are working with our teams to ensure that this miscommunication does not occur again. She says she's not angry with the airline. They were well intentioned and that they were doing what they thought that they needed to do. She's sharing her story because she doesn't want another mom to go through the same ordeal. Be more proactive um, and reaching out to speak with the airlines to ensure that that is part of their policy, their training, and that their staff know what is acceptable. In Agora Hills, Amy Johnson, CBS 2 News.